So now I'm going to begin thinking about my actual flower blooms or the heads on the flowers and what colors I would use for that. So I think looking at what I have so far, I think red would look pretty good. So I'm going to think about different ways that Vincent van Gogh would paint his flowers. But what I should actually do is look at one of these paintings. Like here we see some flowers, but if I go back, this is actually a detail of that. So I can really look up close how he did that. And it almost looks like if I could touch them, touch the real painting in real life, which I wouldn't go to a museum and do that. That would get you in big trouble. Um, I could actually feel the texture in the paint. So I can really see the direction he pulled the paintbrush in. So there's different ways I could create different kinds of flowers. So I'm gonna think about how to use my paintbrush to get that effect. So I'm gonna load this with red. One way I could do that is I could pull the brush and do brush strokes. So I could say, okay, well, I'm gonna start here and the middle part would be there, but I'm gonna pull away from that. And when I pull away in all directions, it seems like there's flower petals sort of going in every direction around. Or there's a technique we've looked at before called stippling where I could dab my brush and it sort of creates this fluffy shape as it spreads out. And I've seen flowers that kind of resemble that too. So maybe I do a brush stroke and maybe I try stippling and maybe I do both. So I'm gonna pull this way, this way, towards the front, and really that would be down. But it looks like it's sort of pointing at me to the front and then up and around the other direction. And I can make those as long or as short as I think they need to be. So then I think I'm gonna do another one where I'm stippling. And what I'm doing is dabbing my brush, but I wanna make sure those dabs that I do, they overlap each other so that they actually create a shape when I put them together. So I need a little water because it's looking a little scratchy. Much better. I'm pointing those flower petals in every direction. And I think I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the red, how it looks with the other colors. I'm kind of feeling like I need to have a flower that's hanging down on the front. And so maybe, maybe I can't see the stem because of where the head of the flower, the bloom on it actually is. So maybe I create a shape here that looks like it's hanging just over the edge of the vase there, all right? And it needs to cover up that green, so I might even have to put a little more red on there to do that, to hide it a little better. Now, this looks pretty good, I think, but we're actually gonna go into this and we're gonna do something that will actually level up our painting. So you're gonna get your flowers painted and then we're gonna talk again about how to use a different material on it.